Brothers and sisters, as I observe this video right here, Obama shall lead you. Everything that I've been prophesying about Obama way before I got on YouTube is indeed coming true. And I reveal to you the truth of who I am. I'm one of God's chosen messengers. I'm one of his prophets. One of his microphones that he speak through for others to hear. The stuff that I present on here is not things I make up out of my own imagination, but truths that come to me through the power of the Holy Ghost. As the Holy Ghost is indeed real, it is not no fictional character, but a true being that enlightens those who wish to know the truth of all things. That's why I got several video responses is involving Obama. And when I saw this particular channel, as far as Obama shall lead you, Obama shall lead you, I was like, wow. Now I really can put it out there as far as the prophecies about him add on to what was shown in a uh, little bit almost up to three minute segment about Obama. That's why I had to add that Obama shall lead you to my favorites because it beautifully lays out everything that I've been speaking about as far as about prophecy about him. But well, brothers and sisters, brace yourself because there is more. In this segment here, I present to you about the fall of white America. And let me be more specific. So everybody, you know, Caucasian brothers and sisters like, hey, what are you trying to say here? Are you trying to, are you racist or? No, let me clear it up real quickly for you. The fall of white America outside of the covenant of the atonement of Jesus Christ. There is prophecy on those white brothers and sisters that are full of pride because of their skin complexion. Those who are full of pride because of their European ancestors that invaded and took from a whole lot of nations in this country and in this world. And Obama is their way of revenge. Is you watching Obama shall lead you. And that's what I thought about. I said I will have somebody. I will deliver a person from your enemy coming from Ishmael to lead over you to bring judgment against America. Bring judgment against America. And indeed he is. And that's why, I, man, whoever did this, this video, Obama shall lead you. I want to give you great commands and definitely give you your props for sending that out. Because, man, the, in, within three minutes they laid it out beautifully of everything I was saying so that's why I'm coming in uh, detail with my video responses as how all that calculates up and what's in this segment but in the book of Obadiah the whole entire page Ob 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 Obadiah is one page and then Obadiah talks about the fall of white America outside of the covenant of Jesus Christ now, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures real quick, since I don't got that much time on here. But getting right to the point. It's a, in verse 1, this is the vision of Obadiah. This is what the surveying Lord says about Edom. Now, if you go to Jacob and Esau, and you read in Genesis about Jacob and Esau, when it describes Esau, it describes Esau being red. Then, that's where the uh, term rednecks come from. Those are descendants of Esau. So as the punishment of the Israelites, Heavenly Father punished the Israelites for 40 years to almost 400 years of slavery and the extra zero behind there. Send the Israelites and the Jews and the Egyptians over in the territory of Esau, which were the rednecks. That's why they call themselves rednecks because Edom means red. So coming from Esau, yeah. That's where the Europeans came about, the Romans, and so forth. Because also in prophecy, if you read in Genesis, Jacob tells Esau that you shall live by the sword. And you shall be away from the earth's riches. 
and you you know pretty much gonna be an outcast so by Esau being this outcast also a skillful hunter he ended up a nation end up branching from Esau which is known as Rome those who live by the sword that was basically outcasts and hunters that's where that violence and all they come from and the same tactics to hunt an animal the same tactics males use in the military to hunt one another now just wanted to lay that out real quickly but uh, Obadiah say we had a message from the Lord and envoy was sent to the nations to say rise and let us go against her for battle see I will make you small among the nations you will be utterly despised the pride of your heart has deceived you you who live in the clefts of the rocks and make your home on the heights you who say to yourself who can bring me down to the ground talking about know a lot in particular about white America then you say let's go back in verse 1 the vision of Obadiah this is what the surveying Lord says about Edom Edom now if you go back it says about Esau in the land of not a, a branch from him called Edom a branch from him the red people so going back real quickly to show you that it's talking about a portion of white America and say, though you soar like the eagle, make your necks among the stars, for there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. Once again, a portion of white America that's outside of the covenant of Jesus Christ. I may have to do a part two on this because I see my time is already limited. But like I said, those who are outside the covenant, who don't believe in Jesus, who totally pushed them aside, those outside of the covenant are the ones going to inherit the punishment that's to come. Now, it say, if these came to you, if robbers in the night, oh, what a disaster awaits you. Would they not steal only as much as they wanted? If great grape pickers came to you, would they not leave a few grapes? But how Esau would be ransacked, his hidden treasures pillaged. All your allies will be forced, all your allies will force you to the border. Your friends will deceive and overpower you. Those who eat your bread will set a trap for you, but you will not detect it. All this talking about portion of white America outside the covenant. Here's one in particular that gets right down to the root. It say, In that day, declares the Lord, will I not destroy the wise men to eat them, the wise men the whites, or the wise men the red? Because the truth is, it's not really called, my fellow Caucasian brothers and sisters, it's not really called white people, but really called red people. Because Esau, it said he was red and hairy. It didn't say he was white and hairy. And of course, if you look at your skin, you see that. You know, in the sun, you turn red. You know, you get hit too hard in a certain area of your body, you turn red. So right there, talking about red. Now, it say destroy the understanding. Okay, verse 8 in Obadiah. It said that they declare the Lord will I not destroy the wise men of Edom, men of understanding the mountains of Esau. It said your warriors, O Timon, would be terrified, and everyone in Esau's mountain would be cut down in the slaughter. Now, outside of the covenant, I'm going to keep implying it so people can remember. Now, I said you can read this for yourselves in the book of Obadiah and study it thoroughly. And the reference to link to prove to you that it's talking about a white America outside of the covenant goes back to Jacob and Esau. Read the account of Esau and what happens with Esau. And then you will see I'm telling the truth and I'm making this up. Like I said I'm one of his chosen messages. Like I said I'm, I'm already getting down on time. So uh, like I said I'm going to read a, probably a verse or two and I'm going to do a part two to branch them together to get the full truth about the fallen of white America outside of the covenant of Jesus Christ. Now, it say the warriors of Timon would be terrified and everyone of Esau's men would be cut down to slaughter. This is Obadiah verse 9. And in part 2, I'm going to explain why. And the reason why is it would be cut down because of the violence against your brother Jacob. You will be covered with shame. You will be destroyed forever. And in verse 2, I'm finna really tap on it as far as because of the violence of your brother Jacob. What is he talking about here? He said the descendants of Esau. He said in that day, meaning in the last days. 
shall be destroyed. So, peace be on you, brothers and sisters, and look forward for part two of this segment. There's a lot to share in Christ's life.